Good morning, MSG Retired here. This is a video I really didn't want to have to make, but I was proved wrong and Russia has invaded the Ukraine. I'm not sure what that's going to mean to everyone. Um, Putin has threatened that if any other state attempts to intervene, uh, they would be met with severe consequences. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's not good. So, I guess we're just going to have to wait uh, and see what goes on. I've been, I've been cruising through all the different news sites. Um, there's a, a, an extreme panic going on. Uh, people are trying to get out of Kiev right now. Um, there were some explosions at a military base right outside of Kiev where some rockets landed. Uh, there's some reports of Ukrainian soldiers that have been killed. I've seen reports of 40 or 50 with uh, numerous wounded. And the uh, President Zelensky um, has offered weapons to anyone who wants one. So this is definitely going to be a bloody battle, there's no doubt. The, uh, the Ukrainians are going to fight. And... Uh, just not sure what's going to happen. Uh, it's not good for the European community. I mean, this is like the biggest thing since World War II, really, as far as Europe goes. Uh, any type of major aggressions, um, at least to, to this extent. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, I, I think my previous um, predictions... I think a lot of that may have been based that I was just hoping that it wouldn't happen and that Putin would have, uh, you know, a little more common sense than doing this. But at this point, when you have a major nuclear, you know, entity that's doing this, um, you, you know, I, I don't know what, what can be done. Um, you know, I'd, I'd like to say that and uh, that we could stop it, but I think it would just, it would go really bad if the, well, first off, if the United States gets involved, it's going to go really bad. There's no doubt about that. Uh, and that's not something that the U.S. needs to be involved in. Um, so I don't know. I'm at a loss. I I was just keeping my fingers crossed that it wouldn't go any farther than his peacekeeping forces, but now it seems to be a full blown invasion. And uh, you know, I'm I'm saying a prayer for the Ukrainian people. And um, you know, just with the amount of troops and everything that he has amassed along the borders. Granted, uh, you know, 150,000 troops, it, that's not a, a huge troop buildup. I mean, uh, South Korea does 200,000 South Korean troops when they do maneuvers along the DMZ. So it's, it's not really that huge of a military presence, but I think it's going to be enough. Um, especially if they're using rockets and they're, uh, most likely there'll be air power used. And uh, they've got all their, their armored along the borders. And Putin has stated in, on the news that uh, they're not going to occupy the Ukraine. I don't know what that means. Uh, they're invading it. And you can't hold territory without occupying it. So, you know, pretty much anything he says right now has no shred of truth to it uh and he's proved that by actually invading the ukraine so anyway i gotta take a big bite out of that shit sandwich uh i was way off on this one but hey you know that was my opinion that was my prediction and i was i was keeping my fingers crossed that this wasn't going to happen but in fact it did so uh i'll be watching this very closely and uh, I'll, I'll bring you my thoughts on it But, uh, yeah, it's, it's a pretty sad day for the European communities that this is actually taking place. 
So I guess we're going to have to sit tight and watch and see what happens. Uh, I do have a prediction that gas prices are going to go through the roof. Uh, we're at 360, 370 a gallon right now in Massachusetts. Uh, probably before the weekend's over, uh, you know, th those prices are probably going to be $4 a gallon or better. Uh, and it, it's going to create some economic ramifications here in the U.S. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll just wait and see what goes on with that. Uh, I know we were getting oil from Russia, but uh, that's probably not happening anymore. Uh, the sanctions that were put in place, they don't appear to have any effect on the Russians. So, you know, I know all the uh, surrounding European countries are now sanctioning Russia, but a lot of them are dependent on Russia for energy. So, uh, it was just something I didn't want to wake up to this morning. It's only, it's not even 5.30 in the morning yet. And uh, I've already been hitting all the news sites and, and trying to keep up with what's going on. Anyway, I wanted to get this out there. I wanted to go ahead and eat crow real quick and say, yep, I was wrong. First one to admit it. Uh, I was hoping I wasn't going to be, but, well, you know. And like I said, my opinion, and uh, don't don't feel bad if you say I told you so. Uh, <laughs> I've already had that comment, and yeah, okay, I I eat crow. I, I'm I'm a big enough person to where when I'm wrong, I admit it. So we're just gonna have to keep an eye on this and and see what happens and see how it progresses and hopefully, um, this doesn't turn into a World War Three, because. Uh, that's not what, what the world needs. That's definitely not what the U.S. needs uh, or any other country, especially with the pandemic and everything else. Um, it, it's almost like everybody's just gone crazy now. So anyway, just my, uh, my update. And uh, I'll, I'll bring you more as time goes on. Um, and I'll try and give you my my military view on it um, but I don't know I don't know guys I'm, I'm very distraught over the whole thing uh, I hate to see this but alright hey if you like the content make sure you hit the uh, subscribe button hit the bell for notifications give me a thumbs up um, hey, if you're out there riding on twos, yesterday we had a beautiful day. It was 64, 65 degrees. I saw a lot of bikes out. I was stuck at work. But if you're out there riding, make sure you keep the shiny side up, rubber side down. As always, have yourself a great day.